Hi everyone, um, today I'm going to show you how to um, do a sensor, uh, what do you call it, vision sensor calibration on the Mavic Air 2. Okay, I'm doing this because I couldn't see a video that made it simple. But first of all, you download, download the um, DJI Assistant 2 and install that. And then when you open it, you'll get this page here. And if you can see, is it clear? Uh, and anyway, then what you do is you plug your lead into the back of your um, drone like that. And then you plug the USB into the computer. Okay. And then you turn on your drone. All right. Turn on your drone. Just sit it down for a minute. So it's turned on. With the lead plugged in like so okay and hopefully it won't take off <laughs> okay I'll put that there a minute okay so now it comes up with this oh it's coming up with the SD card we'll just close that okay close right we're back to there Mavic Air okay so it just came up with that then because it's noticed the SD card inside so we click on the Mavic Air on there you see double click okay now you've got in the top left hand corner firmware update and you've got log export calibration or simulator so we click on calibration okay Tutor tutorial one of four now you can do them and have a look through them, but I've had a look, I've done this before, so I'm going to keep going through. Okay, hopefully you can see what I do. It's tricky. I'll give you that. It's tricky, but we're going to have a go. Okay, right. So now I've clicked to calibrate now. So we're going to calibrate now. Okay, this is the tricky bit. All right. So now hold the aircraft with its forward vision sensor facing the screen. It is tricky. You've got to line that up. It's like a green. Hang on a minute. Oh, yeah, that's it. I'll put the light on. It's a bit dark, so I'll put the light on. Okay. All right, we've got it's working now. You need enough light. So there's some green and red. Yours is red, and you've got to match. Pull it out slowly. There, and it's done that. Okay. And then you go to the blue. To the blue on the screen, to the blue, to the right, tip it, down to the other one, to the blue, to the blue again, again to the blue, again to the side, up. Oops. I've, you can knacker this up a few times, a bit difficult. Up again, up, over to the right, down, down. That's that one. Then it says move the aircraft slowly away from the screen. So we, that's what we're doing now. Okay, it's very touchy. Okay, we've got it. It's all blue, and now it's gone slow again. So we've got these blue squares again. So basically, with the camera at the front, just follow the blue squares round. When this came up first on my Mavic Air, it really shit me up what to do, but it's not too bad to do it once you've done it once or twice. Okay, forward camera calibration complete. Start the camera calibrate, start downward, the downward calibration, okay? Okay, so now, uh, here we go. So now we, we're facing it that way. So we're facing to the downward one. So we've got to line that up somehow. Have a look. Match move the computer a bit. Oopsies. It's difficult, the down, it's hard. Hang on a minute, let's try it that way. Yeah, put it put it on its back and do it. Oh, this cable gets in the way a bit. Sometimes you need to tilt your computer screen a bit to do it. Hang on, I did struggle with this last time. Put like this. I'm nearly there, nearly there. It does take some doing. It does take some doing. Yep, 
it does. It really does. It did take some doing last time, and it's taking some doing this time too. But I'll try. In. Let's just try and make the screen a bit flatter from a bit of an angle. In, in, in. Oh, I'm struggling with this. <laughs> I am struggling. It is difficult. Too big. Okay. Because this lead on the back doesn't help. But you can get it. Around the mirror there. You're best off watching just one side and see if we're nearly there. Steady Eddie. Can't get it. I had it in a minute. Oh, I've got it on the wrong. I, I had it wrong there. I, had it, I didn't have it on its side. I had it on its back. And you should have it on its side like that. Watch on the screen to the top left hand side. It will tell you how to have it. I had it wrong. So. Yeah, if you have it right, it's a lot easier. But on the top left hand side of your screen. It will tell you which way to have it. So it's come blue once. It's asking me to do it again. Still, it's difficult. You can see. Come on. Man, it's difficult sometimes. There we are, just locked on. So it's gone blue. So then. With it still being the same position, you hit the blue square into the blue box. You follow it round. Down, down, up, cross, cross, up, 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 cross, down, down. And there we are. Now it wants us to do it again for some reason. So we do it again. Hang on. Come back a bit, there we're in. Okay, blue, we're on into the little blue boxes. Just keep doing what it asks you to do, and it'll tell you if you're successful doing it or not. I think I did it wrong once or twice, or it didn't calibrate properly. It's just you need a steady hand. Oops. It does bug though when it does that. Right, now the rear one. So now we do with the rear sensor. So try and keep the cable out of the way. So the rear, that's easy, that's gone on all right. Oh, that went all right. The rear one was a lot easier. That one, so on the blue squares now, over to the right, down. Whoops, yep, down again, down, left, left. It prompts you what to do. You just follow that blue box with your blue lines. You'll see, and across, down, whoops, down. Okay, it's asking you to do it again. So you do it again. Pull back till you match up with your red and the green. Right, it's gone blue. So we're back into the blue boxes. So we're back into the blue boxes. So it's up. Up, across, down, down, across, across, whoops, across, that way, up, 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 down, right, now what? It says, calibration information collected, calibration complete, calibration success, restart the aircraft. Okay, so that's what we'll do. We'll turn it off. Okay, I don't think you need to restart the aircraft with the wire in. 
I think it's done. So I'm going to try it with the controller, okay? Because I'm sure it's done at that. So I'm going to take the... I've took it out now. Took the wire out. And I'm just going to put it... Uh, the aircraft down. Okay? So I don't want to show you them if I can help it. Hang on a minute. I'm just going to... Just bear with me a second. <laughs> I'm just going to put some green stickers on because I have like a here in England you have to have a number and you've drawn pain in the arse really right so we've calibrated it okay so I've got the remote now okay I've got the remote we're going to put it on so the remote's on okay it's on and now I'll put the drone on okay It'll start to do its thing. Oops. And hopefully not take off. And hopefully not do anything. <laughs> I'm sure it's done. So we're waiting now to see what we see. That's auto disconnected because I left it like that last time before. But it should when it goes green connect up and we should have no problems. Okay. Ignore that. That's because I've got it in FCC mode. Hang on. It hasn't come up with anything. Nothing. I'm just going to shut this up and do it again. So I'm just going to turn the, the drone off. I think because I didn't shut the app, it hasn't come up with the information. So just bear with me. I'm just going to shut the app up. So I've closed the app now. Okay, and now I'm going to reopen the app. Okay, so I've reopened it and I'm going to put the drone back on. Okay, so the drone's going to power up now. Okay, I've got this now. So the app's opening up now. Alright, hold on. I press cancel all the time because I have it hacked into FCC mode. Right. And now I press go fly. And we should be clear. We're clear. There's no problem. There's no errors. Everything's fine. Everything's fine that way. So we're okay now. So that's how you do it. I know it was a bit hit and miss. But the first thing to do really is just to get the um, DJI uh, Assist 2. You can get that. I got that on my PC. So I downloaded it onto there. And I've always used that. I'll just turn this off again. Hang on a second. Uh, I really turn this on first of all just to reset reset the return to home altitude to 60 meters that's done I'm just going to um, format the SD card one second and I'm going to turn it off uh, format SD card yeah let's do it it's going to be formatted like that okay and also I'm going to format internal storage done so if I press play now, you can see there's nothing in, nothing in, fine. Okay, so I'm happy now, that's done. Okay, so the drone's okay. That's a real problem when it comes up. And at first it's frightening, you think, oh, I can't do this, I can't do this. I'm just going to turn the drone off. But you can, it's just persevering. Okay, the drone's off. All right, so all is good. I hope that helped you. And... If it did, great. Oops, oops, you don't want to see me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that's how it's done. Okay, so all is well. And good luck doing it. If you have any questions, you can ask. I'm sure you know how to do it. All right, thanks, Sim. Bye.